to believe in humanity and goodness is to help each other. Part 1 of 7 on Between Master and Disciples. Health in English. Good night, baby. Have wonderful dreams. Heaven love you, and I love you. Hello, Hi, Master. Hi. How are you guys? We are good, Master. master. How are you, Master? Uh, I'm sleepy. Oh. Oh. Lucky that you hurry a little bit. If you were a little longer, I think you couldn't find me anymore. <laughs> 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 I've become like a small potato couch. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Very sleepy. Oh. Uh, after I promise you we'll have a talk today, I regret it immediately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because when I talk to you, I immediately say, oh, okay, we can do it, but... Afterward, I realized I was very tired before already. Oh, yes, yes master. master. It's good that we have this system that you be more spontaneous, more natural. Yes, yes. Master. Imagine if I have a teleprompter and have a writer like most of the VIPs do. <laughs> I pretend that I'm not a VIP, so I don't feel bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad that I have to fix everything myself. Yeah. And read from the book and translate to you everything. Mm -hmm. Boys, what did you do with the menu that I gave you? Are all of you there? Yes, yes master. master. Yes. All from the downstairs, also they came up, the two boys? Yes, yes master. master. Yes, master. Listen, I have instructed like a real menu to do what, what, what. And then I heard afterward that you put them all together mixed in one sandwich. Is that true? Yes, yes master. master. Yes. Man. You remind me, for when I first went to Taiwan, I fried French fries for the resident monks and nuns. And I said, go ahead, eat, because I have to cook. Somebody has to cook so that you can eat it when it's hot. <laughs> and when I came out, I have a small portion, the last one for myself. Everybody has it already, hot and crispy. So I came out with a small portion for myself and said, hey, how is it going? Is it good? Yeah, yeah. We put it all in the tea and it tastes so good. <laughs> and you make a brand new sandwich. Maybe it tastes good. Did it taste good? Yes. 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 Really good. So what yes. kind of things you do? You know, there's one Vietnamese, like, just to eat with rice. You can also eat it with bread, but not with mushroom paste and vegan cheese and <laughs> those things together and then all the whatever I did give. Oh, man. But it tasted good? Yes, yes master. master. Fabulous, Master. Yes. Sure? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, sure. then give me that recipe. <laughs> 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 In case I have a chance to make it for you again. <laughs> and I will know what your taste is like. <laughs> Whoever made it, write down the recipe with how many peppermint leaves, for example. Exact menu. And how much mushroom shred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And you really enjoyed it? Tell me the truth, huh? Yes, yes, yes. It was delicious. Yes. Enjoy yes. very much. Oh, so, sometimes a mistake <laughs> becomes a good recipe afterwards. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Similar to chips. Mm, yes. The thin, very thin waffle chips. Thin chips. Yes. 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 Potato chips also was a mistake. Oh. Oh. It was a mistake, and then it became tasty and good, so they continued. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe your menu would be a hit on the internet, who knows? <laughs> we can put it on tip of the day. <laughs> Don't put my name on it in case it's not good. <laughs> I gave you different things for different tastes, like vegan cheeses for, of course, with bread, no? Nah? Yes. Yes. So the vegan camembert, it tastes so good, so I thought to send some to you. And then the mushroom spread is good, homemade. Yes. So I thought to send some to you. And I thought if somebody doesn't like this Vietnamese, uh, tambay, uh, the broken rice with the shredded vegan skin, so they would eat some French baguette with the mushroom spread. And yes. if somebody doesn't like mushroom spread, 
they could eat this vegan coming back and other kinds of vegan cheese. Yes, yes. Master. I'm all democratic, and you guys mix them all together. <laughs> <laughs> we were wondering why everything was together. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wonder myself. Only after you eat them all, I call. Just by the way, I just call. And then you gave me all these wonderful phrases. It's wonderful and all that stuff. I was surprised. <laughs> So I asked who ate what, and which one was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and then the secret was spilled all out. Oh, we put them all together in one sandwich, and we share. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I thought you maybe don't like the broken rice with it. But in Vietnam, we also eat with bread, like sandwich. Yes. 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 So I send the rice also, but uh, maybe to compost some to cook the rice. So I thought you can eat with sandwich. Uh, with bread, so I sent even the bread, whatever I have there, that's a bread. Because I thought maybe you don't have it handy. So I sent it. I said, can make sandwich. You can eat with the mushroom spread <laughs> and vegan cheese. <laughs> After I call, everything was melanced. <laughs> oh, my God. And it tasted good? Yes. Yeah. 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 Wow. I am so glad and impressed. <laughs> Upon receiving Master's delicious food, some of the Supreme Master television team members expressed their appreciation to her with the following. Dearest Master, the team is deeply appreciative for the wonderful food. Here are some things they wrote to express their love and thanks. Thank you, Master, for your love. The Oleksis or Vietnamese baguettes were delicious and so full of flavor with all the various tasty ingredients. Cảm ơn sư phụ cho đám con bánh mì super ngon quá và nhiều tình thương. Brothers asked me if his Oleksis or Vietnamese food was delicious. I said, I'm the one who ate the most today. Then I think you'll know the answer. Thank you, Master, for giving us such a wonderful memory. I love the sandwiches filled with cheeses, mushroom pate, and all other ingredients. It tickles my taste buds. So delicious. Thank you, Master, for your love and blessing. I love the food and thought the sandwich was superb and so tasty. Thank you for thinking of us, Master. Thank you so much, Master, for the delicious sandwich and loving filling ingredients. Like it very much. The sandwich is so tasty, full of ingredients and love. Thank you so much, Master. It's the best sandwich I ever had. I ate other versions before, but never as good as this one. Thanks, Master, for lovingly sharing. The bun mi was really tasty. Thank you, Master, for your love and blessing. I wonder if just everything tastes good with you all. It really tastes good. Okay, next time I will try. Give me the recipe. Yes, Master. And maybe I try to see if it's good. Uh, then we can advise people. But these are complicated things to make. I don't know if they sell them in the supermarkets. These are Vietnamese stuff. But maybe people can order it from a Vietnamese restaurant. Yes. yes, Master. This kind of food, the broken rice, originally I sent it just for the Vietnamese with you because I thought the others don't know anything about them anyway. So I sent it only for the Vietnamese. Yes, Master. Those yes. broken rice and stuff, that's for the Vietnamese. They call it Kem yeah? Yes, Master. But then uh, I sent other things for you guys, for the other people who don't know the Vietnamese stuff just to taste. But I say, share, share if you guys like to taste. I say give them a little bit only in case they don't like it and then it's a waste of the Vietnamese special rice. Special, please prepare. Yes, yes, yes Master. Special thing. Because you don't have it everywhere. You understand? Yes, yes Master. Master. I understand. The thing that I gave you, you have to order specially and only some people know how to make it. The older generation. The American Vietnamese or English uh, Vietnamese, don't ask them. They don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Probably they never heard of it. <laughs> this food normally is for poor people. I think I mentioned it sometime before. I'm not sure if it's recorded. Because the farmers, they cultivate the rice and they select only the round and perfect rice to sell to the richer people. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And uh, the leftover, the whole uh, husk, you know, they screen it out well and then they eat that because it's broken. The rice is broken, like mm. almost leftover and wanted. Oh, yes. 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 And they don't have uh, money to buy uh, meat, so they just use the skin. Buy the skin, it's cheaper. Mm. Mm. Nice. 
And then they chop it and like that, and they eat with this broken rice and with herbs and uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. special vegetables, not everything, like cucumber, shredded cucumber, or some shredded carrot, as well as herbs like peppermint and coriander and this uh, purple leaf. How do we call it? Perilla leaf. Perilla. Yeah, perilla. Okay, okay, I know that. I just forgot. Good, good. They use it also for cosmetic oil. Imagine, how can you extract oil out of that leaf? <laughs> <laughs> you saw the leaf, right? Yeah. Yes. It's very thin like paper. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a purple, deep purple color. That's green color also. But from, that's perilla. They even make oil out of it. It's for the cosmetics. Imagine that. Aww. Imagine we humans, everything we can make oil out of it. We can fit the oil out of them. <laughs> Even sunflower seeds and all that, we can see that they contain a lot of oil. Yes, yes. yes. Or maybe olives. Mm. Yes. yes, Master. Like olives, we can make oil out of them because we can kind of imagine there's some oil oozing inside if we open it. Yes, yes. Master. But these perilla leaves are so thin, like tissue. <laughs> How do you get oil out of it? Yeah. 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 It's really oily. Mm. I have seen it before. Wow. wow. Amazing. To put on your skin. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> and also for medicinal purpose, something. Oh. oh. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Wow. Oil wow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, maybe they make it out of the seed of it as well, no? Mm. I cannot imagine these leaves can give any oil. Can you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Probably the seeds of the plants, of that plant. Mm. It doesn't matter. I think humans are incredible. They are getting more and more incredible all the time mm. with all the wonders that God gives to us. But some people are so stupid and evil that mm. they don't even want to enjoy what we have. Mm. Yes, yes. Just go out and destroy things. And, Killing people. Oh my God, such idiots. Ungrateful beasts they are. Yes, ma yes Master. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. <sighs> because every time I eat something, I feel so grateful. Yes, yes Master. Master. And I wonder all the time, oh, these things, how can they make oil out of it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And how can they even grow such a corn so big and sweet like this? And then potatoes, even those things. Yes. Yes. Sweet potatoes and oh, mm -hmm. look at the cucumber. So juicy and orange. Every time I eat something, I wonder. I'm grateful in wonderment. Yes, yes, yes Master. Yes. How the earth, the soy, it looks so solid and so brown and like nothing. But it gives so many nutrients so that the fruits grow like that and juicy like that. Yes. yes, and can even make oil out of some of them. Even corn, they make oil out of corn. Corn oil, yeah? Yes, yes. 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 That's right. And many other oils, I was wondering, even rice oil, how? <laughs> 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 you see the, the rice when it's uncooked, it's so small like that and so dry <laughs> and white. It doesn't look like oil or anything, but they can make rice oil. Yes, yes. yes Master. Oh, my God. Yeah, I wonder all the time. Every time I use something, I wonder. I wonder about the cleverness of humanity mm. and the blessedness of our life, that we can have so many things, such wonderful things, nutritious things, and it comes out like from nowhere. Yes. Yes. Like rice oil. <laughs> <laughs> Corn oil. <laughs> I don't know, do they have barley oil or uh, wheat oil? They do, huh? Maybe they do. Yes. Maybe they don't need it yet. Otherwise, they would beat the oil out of them. <laughs> <laughs> and fry, French fry with it. Yes, yes. Master. I really always am in wonderment every day. I don't dare to waste anything. I just uh, take out some to eat so that the leftover will be still clean. Yes, 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 Master. And then uh, I will go far away and give it to some animal person that eats them together with protein, and vegetables, and fruits, and bread, <laughs> and banana. <laughs> <laughs> For example, like that, I would feed them whatever I have. 
but not dirty. Mm. Yes. 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 Dirty. I take it clean out on my plate and I eat that. And if I need some more, I get some more in. And then whatever's left over, I give to the animal people. And if it's too little, I give more. Yes. yes. I warm up more rice or put some more fruit, some more bread for them. Normally, I just give bread and banana. It's the most simple. It's just that sometimes something is left over. Mm. And they like them. <laughs> I told you already. <laughs> they only eat bread when they have no choice. <laughs> when there's nothing else. Yes. yes. Wait until they eat your sandwich that you made yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then I think they will not eat anything else. <laughs> the way you describe it, you so grateful, gaga about it. I probably will lose them. <laughs> If they eat your sandwich, I will lose them. They will ask where is your address. <laughs> they will ask for your name, the one who made it, and the email address, everything. <laughs> so that they will immigrate <laughs> to where you are and waiting. <laughs> Then you'll be too busy because your restaurant will be full of customers, this kind. <laughs> Very appreciative customers. Remember God, you are divine. Have a good night, remember God. It's not only the animals that are suffering, it's the misery of the human beings working like slaves. I know of many people who are suffering mental health problems because of their work in the slaughterhouses. The Reverend Dr. Rainer Hagencord, vegetarian. <laughs> 